I'm going to show you 20 amazing and sexy electric concept and prototype cars and at the end of the video as a bonus I got a little treat for you one of the best known car designers Henrik Fisker will explain why these beautiful designs don't look as beautiful when they go in production for us to buy so let's get going Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of electric car scoop. If you are interested in everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. And yes, I am still wearing a hat, much more fashionable this time around. If you want to know the story behind it, I put it in the description of this video. But let's get started and check out 20 of these beauties in no particular order. But if you want to let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite, you can do it at any time. And we're going to start with the Sony Vision S. That's right, a car from Sony. Now, when I was putting together this list a couple of weeks ago, this was just a concept that never meant to be. But They've confirmed this week that they're actually going to move forward with making this car and they've been testing this for the last few weeks. The car premiered at CES last year and gathered quite a crowd. As you can see, me and Tom had a hard time finding a spot for us to tape our segment. But bottom line is this. This is great to have a new electric vehicle maker in the game that is not a startup. Number two is Fisker Emotion. It was also premiered at CES a couple of years ago and that's when I met Henrik Fisker as well, who's appeared on the show multiple times and will do it again at the end of this video. I absolutely fell in love with this car. I actually had a private tour in Los Angeles when I visited last year. Now, unfortunately, Fisker has decided to go with a more affordable Ocean EV to go to the market with instead, but hopefully one day Emotion will make it as well. Number three is the Mercedes-Benz EQS Vision. If you've been a fan of the show for a while, you know I absolutely love this car. I got to drive it myself last year in Los Angeles. It is beautiful inside and out. It is to replace the S-Class as an electric version this year in 2021. Unfortunately, we don't know what the production version will look like, but I doubt it will look this beautiful. Number four is the BMW i3 concept. But Alex, you're probably saying you absolutely hate the i3 design. That's right, I do. But the concept was actually quite beautiful, especially with the lines that actually go away and then together. It is very glassy, if you will. As a matter of fact, if that's how they would have gone to market, I probably would have considered one. But Unfortunately, it is what it is. Now, before we get to one of my most favorite electric concepts from a company that's not very serious about electric cars, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored, and this is one of our newer sponsors. This is their premiere, Bosley. Are you losing hair like me? Well, you don't have to. I just got my hair transplants a week ago, but Bosley offers a number of different surgical and non-surgical solutions for you to choose from, so find out about all of them by getting your free info kit and a discount at bosley.com slash e or use the link in the description of this video and by axpong motors china's leading smart ev automaker that just announced its expansion plan for europe and first deliveries have already started for more information follow axpong motors on facebook using the link in the description of this video Number five, this is one of my favorites. Unfortunately, it is made by the brand that's not very serious about electric cars at all, Toyota. This is their luxury brand Lexus LF30. This one is a beauty. I got to see it during the LA Auto Show, which I am a brand ambassador for. But unlike most of my Bumble dates, this one does look better in person than in pictures. Number six is Mini Super Legira. Now, it was designed in 2013. So even though it's not very futuristic now, at that time, it was pretty cool. And even now, it, if it was on the market, I would say this would be one of the better looking cars in their lineup. Unfortunately, Mini is owned by BMW. And that time, BMW was very conservative. So this car never saw a light of day. Number seven, BMW Vision M Next. Now, this was supposed to be the next generation i8, which is already a gorgeous, gorgeous car. However, BMW has decided to discontinue the i8 line altogether. So this will just stay as someone's dream. Number eight is Karma SC1 Concept. Now, Karma is a funny company because they came out of 
Fisker's bankruptcy and all they had in their lineup was Karma Rivera which was based on Fisker Karma and so this the SC1 concept is their first own design and I absolutely love it especially in this orange. Number nine is Hyundai Prophecy. Now Hyundai already has two electric cars on the market the Ionic and Kona. As a matter of fact Kona is at its second generation and it's absolutely beautiful but prophecy is a whole new level of a beautiful design hyundai has been designing some really good looking cars as a matter of fact the latest news is that apple is probably going to partner with them to come up with apple's very first electric car Number 10 is Infinity Q Inspiration. Now, this is such a beautiful car, especially in the pearl white. I got to check it out also at the LA Auto Show. Now, Infinity doesn't have any plans to make any electric cars in the near future. However, its parent brand Nissan is on its second, and it's the Nissan Aria. Number 11 is Volkswagen ID Buzz. Now, I gotta tell you, I don't see how this one won't compete for the best selling crossover or SUV, even with Tesla, if this one goes to market. This one will sell very well if you ask me. As a matter of fact, a couple of years ago, Volkswagen has featured it in a promo video where they publicly admitted for the first time to the Dieselgate scandal, which essentially turned the company around and they've used the Volkswagen bus as the way to revamp the company into an electric car leader, which they very well may become in the future. Number 12 is a Renault Morphose. Now, most of my American viewers are probably not as familiar with this brand because Renault is not really being sold here in the United States. However, in Europe, Renault Zoe is one of the most popular electric cars. I love the design of this SUV and I especially love the booty of this car. Cadillac Lyric is our lucky 13 and it is a beautiful car. I got to check it out in person back in Detroit in March. It was recently unveiled to the rest of the public and this one may actually make it in the production in a very close version to what you see right now. And this is a great way to reinvent the Cadillac brand in particular and the General Motors brand in general. Number 14 is the Tesla Roadster. And I know technically it's still a concept car because it's probably going to be at least five years after its original unveiling until it goes in production. Though knowing Tesla, the production version will probably be very close to what you're looking at right now. Number 15 is Faraday Future FF91. This is a very unusual but very cool design for an electric SUV. Faraday Future as a company had nine lives, really. I think I've pronounced them dead like three times on this channel, which makes me very happy that I am not a doctor, but a YouTuber. Several months ago, I got to drive it myself in Los Angeles and it was absolutely amazing. It is very powerful, but at the same time, very, very luxurious. Essentially, it's going to be an electric version of Maybach. The CEO of Faraday Future, Karsten Breitfeld, was the former BMW boss in charge of bringing us the i8 and i3. And then later, he was the CEO of Byton. Number 16 is another Volkswagen, this time ID Vision. As you can see, they just got to go with the double Zs. But I absolutely love this four-door sedan. It's beautiful. I love its shape, the color. Volkswagen may produce it in the future, but it probably will be at least a few more years. Number 17 is the Nissan IMS. As you know, Nissan has been making electric cars longer than most companies. The Nissan Leaf is now 10 years old, and it was the only electric car in their lineup until this year when they finally came up with the Nissan Aria. Because of that, I don't know if IMS is actually going to make it to market, but it is a beauty. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you know that number 18 is the love of my life. I'm talking about the Byton M Byte. This is the only car on this list that's actually more amazing on the inside than on the outside. So I guess what my mom told me was true. It's what's on the inside that really matters. And I guess that's why I got myself hair transplant. As you can tell, the entire car is built around this beautiful, massive screen. But unfortunately, Byton has filed for bankruptcy in Europe and in the United States. There is a chance that they still can survive in China, but it's probably going to stay there for a while. Number 19, the Porsche Mission E, one of the most beautiful concept cars in the electric car history. I think most of you guys would agree with me. And even though the final product, the Porsche Taycan, is still a very good looking car because we all compare it to the Mission E, a lot of people got really, really disappointed. But Mission E is definitely one for the books. Now, I know I said this list was in no particular order, but I have to admit I saved the best for last. And of course, at number 20, 
the Mercedes-Benz Vision Avatar. This is the only car that I ever seen at any car show or any automotive event where you had to stay in line for over an hour just to see it and that's during the media days. It's beautiful inside and out and even though I know it's probably never going to make it into production but it does give us a good idea of what the future holds. And now as I promised you in the beginning of this video a bit of a treat for you one of the biggest names in automotive design Henrik Fisker is going to explain to us why these beautiful concept cars are never this beautiful once and if they go in production. So tell me, what goes on between the beautiful concepts that we see and the reality when the car goes in production? What goes wrong there? In big or in any car companies, you know, you have so many different groups that have a say. So when you show a concept car, a lot of times what happens in the larger companies is they kind of just hand it over to mainly the design department and the design design department gets really excited and they maybe lower the roof so far down that you can barely sit in the car and the trunk ends up being so small that you can't really fit anything and when you show a really cool concept car notice that nobody really measures the trunk and a lot of time a lot of people actually don't get to sit in the concept car and at least not in the back seat so therefore all those things get kind of disregarded when you see the vehicle and go, wow, I want that vehicle. And then of course, when it goes through all the production and everything else, suddenly the roof gets raised up and the wheels get smaller so they can fit the right turning radius. And the base model can be cheap enough because the tires can't be too big and all these type of things. If you're wondering what to watch next and you want to know what electric cars are making it to the market this year, 2021, check out my video with all of them. I put the link in the description of this video. And of course, if you're watching me on YouTube, you can click on that link over there in that corner. All right. Looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.